everyone welcome back to my channel um today we're going to talk about a drink called herbal superfoods hot chocolate so this recipe was just inspired by me just sitting around thinking like what can what are some things that we can do that are going to boost our immune systems while we're in the uh, fall and winter months we definitely want to be doing things that are going to increase immunity that are going to be anti-inflammatory antibacterial um anti-fungal anti-parasite anti-worm all of those things we're going to want to do all year round but especially during the winter time when um you're more more likely to catch a cold or flu so this drink um the drink the recipe that i use this is what i use in my recipe i use turmeric cinnamon ginger black pepper honey coconut oil sea salt and raw chocolate powder or raw cocoa um so i'll definitely leave the recipe in the description box below but it's really really easy to make so you basically just combine all of those ingredients oh and i forgot to mention that you're also going to going to want to use uh, a milk as well so i use almond milk you don't have to use almond milk you can use coconut milk um you can use cashew milk or whatever type of milk that you use or you can also use water, but I like to use milk because it's more creamy when you use milk. So this is going to be a drink that you can drink every day and it's going to just act as a medicine for the body. So some of the things that this herbal hot chocolate is going to be good for is number one, you have turmeric. So turmeric is a really good anti-inflammatory. You have cinnamon, which helps with um, blood glucose levels. So if you're suffering from diabetes, it's going to be really helpful um, with your blood glucose levels. Um, the ginger is really good for digestion. Um, you have honey, which is a natural antibacterial. You have sea salt, which provides so many minerals for the body. And then you have chocolate, which is a natural antioxidant. One of the other ingredients in this herbal hot chocolate is a herb called maca. And I just want to talk a little bit about maca because it's a superfood and it's really um, it's something that you really want to think about taking every day. It's good for so many different things. So um, this article is called Ethnobiology and Ethnopharmacology of Maca, a plant from the Peruvian highlands. So I'm just going to read a little bit about it. Um, it says maca is a Peruvian plant that has been cultivated for more than 2,000 years, which grows exclusively in the central Andes. Um, it is used as a food supplement and also for its medicinal pop, uh, properties described traditionally. So I'm going to jump down. It says experimental scientific evidence showed that maca has nutritional, energizer, and fertility enhancer properties. And it acts on sexual dysfunctions, osteoporosis, benign prostatic hyperplasia, memory and learning, and protects skin against ultraviolet radiation. Clinical trials show efficacy of MACA on sexual dysfunctions as well as increasing sperm count and motility. MACA is a plant with great potential as an adaptogen, so it's going to help with stress and anxiety. And it also appears to be promising as a nutraceutical in the prevention of several diseases. So, and that's just from what they studied so far. There's so many other different benefits from maca root that haven't been explored yet with science. However, there's a rich traditional usage of maca. As I mentioned earlier, it's been used for over 2,000 years amongst the Peruvian peoples. Um, and it says there is no reports of adverse reactions after consuming maca in food. However, the natives recommend that maca be boiled before its consumption because fresh maca may have adverse effects. Um, however, fresh maca adverse effects have not been scientifically assessed yet. It goes on to say that um, the hypothesis that maca may be effective in, imp in improving health status, particularly reproductive function, is supported by several lines of evidence. So um, a lot of people use maca when they're trying to conceive or when they want to just improve um, the function of the reproductive organs in male and female.
So just a little bit more of the traditional usage of Maka. So I always kind of like to go and look into what the indigenous peoples were doing with certain herbs. So down here it says, Father Kobo was the first to describe the name of Maka and its properties in 1653. He stated that this plant grows in the harshest and coldest areas of the province and referred to the use of Maka for fertility. Um, it also says that uh, in 1553, Cieza de Leon, a, chronicle, a chronicler of the Spaniard conquest of Peru, noted that in the Peruvian highlands, particularly in the province of Bombon, I hope I didn't butcher that, um, the natives used certain roots for maintenance, and the roots he was referring to were maca. So... As you can see, maca was such a highly revered plant that there are many people who wrote who wrote about it hundreds of years ago. So please, if you haven't tried herbal hot chocolate, try it. It's delicious. Some people add coffee to it. Um, if you're like an avid coffee drinker, this is a way to drink coffee and make it healthier. Um, by adding different herbs and spices to it. You don't have to just use the recipe that I use. You, some people like to add different types of herbal powders that are also um, really healthy and nutritious, such as ashwagandha. Some people add moringa powder. You can tweak it how you like. So let me uh, let me know what you guys think about this recipe. Let me know if you use this recipe, if you use a different recipe, if you tweaked it up, if you added some things. Um, let me know how it worked for you guys. Did it help with digestion? Did it help with your circulation? Did it help with inflammation? Please like, share, and subscribe and visit our website, ForsHerbalDoulaServices.com. And I will see you guys on the next video. Have a blessed day.